Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, been beating our head against this puzzle wall. I'm uh, not entirely sure how we're going to deal with it. Um, not doing too well, uh, currently, as it is. Um, currently I've <laughs> been trying for quite a little while and nothing, honestly. I have not been getting it done at all. Yes, I know. Okay, aborting. Okay. It's not working everything I've been doing to try and figure out how to deal with this. Um, <laughs> as it is, I'm still not entirely sure I'm doing it correctly. But I'm going to try and see if maybe I can get the water moved to this room here. That way I can just do a straight shot through there, hopefully. I don't know if that's how it's going to work. It's probably not. Does this warning activating flow control means Yeah. Water transfer proceeding. Okay. Does that mean it's over here? Maybe. Wait. It finally emptied this room. Okay. All right. We've gotten some progress now, I guess. Um, huh. Okay. It's not what I wanted at all. Okay. So. Proceed? Maybe. Water transfer proceeding. Does that mean I'm finally free and clear? It's locked. Okay. And this chamber is filled with water. So this door is locked. Just outright locked. Okay. And Jolie's in the way. Jolie, get out of the way. Proceed. Okay. So, that didn't work the way I hoped, but it did work to some degree. So... It's not doing it the way I hoped for. At all. Warning. Yeah, a proceed? Water transfer proceeding. Okay, so it is proceeding. Okay, um... All right. Then what does that mean? Does that mean it's in here? No. Where does that mean it went? There! Okay. <laughs> well then, where am I supposed to go with it? This is supposed to go... Not there. 
because this is filled with water. Warning. But Warning. We water proceeding. move it back there. The fact that the doors have to close and complicate this even further drives me even further up a wall. Okay. All right. So this is empty. Warning. Active. Yes. Proceed. It'll act. It'll flood this chamber. But this door is locked. Then what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to put the water? <laughs> this is maddening. This is beyond maddening. And this one puts it over there, maybe? Warning. Activate. Proceed. Wait, did I just... I did it. <laughs> okay. Eventually, if you brute force it, you get through. <laughs> I guess. I'm still so confused on how it works, but alright, whatever, I'll take it. Oh, hi! Ow! You had to do that, huh? You had to do that. There we go. How'd that learn ya? Okay, well, you are a worthy opponent in that you are seeming to dodge all of my things. Okay, well, how about this? There we go. Now I'm actually getting some damage done. Alright, and we'll just do another force wave. Okay, you're doing that, huh? Just to keep yourself alive, huh? There we go. And we're good. Alright. Oh! Okay. Didn't realize there was a mine there. Okay, bio antidote and hair trigger. Okay, um, so now we're gonna end up running into mines I didn't know were there. Okay, <laughs> great. Hey, another Genrax, Genruax crystal. Nice. Iriaduce strength amplifiers. Good. Who do I give that to since I have the power gloves? Um, I guess I give them to Jolie because he needs them. Oh, well, there you go. That would have been nice, probably, to have uh, already equipped on him because I think his awareness is actually yeah his awareness is actually pretty good but then again so is hers her total rank is actually higher than his okay well probably should equip that on her then um this one whoops that's not what i meant i meant to do this which will then do that I... <clears throat> My inability to press buttons correctly will drive me insane. Okay. Ooh, the remains of this guy here. Didn't even realize he was outside in the hall. And we get another advanced oral amplifier anyway. All right. Well, and another Genrex crystal. I am getting flooded with things I didn't know I needed. That's actually pretty nice. <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to keep him with that anyway. Uh, 
that's going to be good. I'll give that to whoever next desperately needs it. Um, I might as well do all the healing here for now. And then do a little more with Jolie. And I think that should be everyone as topped off as we're going to be. Ooh, thank you, Julie. I do appreciate that. Oh, boy. Now we're back into the combat. Wahoo. Let's make this force wave do something. Good. All right. And we're going to beat you. There we go. And we're going to beat you. Okay. Nice. <laughs> that worked out far better than I could have hoped, considering. <laughs> Alright. Any... Oh! Didn't expect that. Um, slice into the computer system. East barracks. Let's overload that power conduit. Make them all die. Bye. Okay. Let's return to the feed. Yep, they're all dead. System override. Security room. Over here. Hmm. Corrupt their targeting program would take six. Auto targeting. Engage. Switching to security camera. So, what happens? Let's disable the field. Huh. I don't want to disable them, because I could still get stuff out of them. Okay. Let's go to override the computer room. That's where we are! Let's not overload that computer conduit. <laughs> that would kill us dead. Okay, that's out. Do not do it there either, because there's no reason to. We just waste the uh, spikes. Training room. Was there... There are Selkath in here. The Sith were training them. Okay. Control room. Uh, I came out of there. There's no reason to be doing anything like that. Okay, so we'll return to the override uh, steam control room. Deactivate steam vents. Oh, I can now go in there. Nice. I'm blowing through all of my computer spikes, though. <laughs> Disassembly room. Uh, I've already been in there. Don't need to do anything. I've already dealt with that. So now we're done. Booyah! And now we get everyone leveled up. Hooray! Okay. Why do I put it in? Um, let's put it in to treat injury. That might be nice. And then powers. Um, hmm. What do I do with you? Jolie, I have no idea. I don't know what to have you do. Hmm. I feel like let's put you doing burst to speed. There we go. That'll work. And now Juhani. Where do I put your points? Uh, summon treat injury. Summon awareness. There we go. That way we can kind of be able to see these mines I'm now running into constantly. And what else should I do? Put you in... Yeah, sure, let's do this. That's a good idea, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Alright. They're now level 14, I am level 16, so I far outclass them. Okay. And we go through this door to go wherever it leads. Oh, hi there. 
Gonna have to kill you dead. I don't know. There we go. That worked out. Huh. Well, there's fighting going on. Not sure what to think about it. I've already emptied this. Oh. They were fighting each other. That's what they ended up doing. Okay, well, in that case... I don't know why that field was... <laughs> persisting for as long as it did. Okay. Well. That deals with you. And we're just gonna tear through you. And that'll make all the sense in the world. There we go. Advanced gravity generator. Not sure what that means. <laughs> oh, we're getting so many things for droids and I don't understand what it means. Like at all. Okay, well, um, steam room. Where, 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 where is that? Okay. So there's sections I have not gone into. Clearly. Sections that I should have gone into. And I guess we'll continue down this path to reach some of those. Slokath so, Apprentice, what are you doing here? Um, oh, boy, I don't, why am I fighting you? I didn't want to fight you. What the what? Okay, um, oh, that seemed like a glitch. Okay. Intruders, should we sound the alarm, Shasa? No, wait. We cannot always be running to the Masters for help. We should handle this on our own. Perhaps this is a test the Sith have prepared for us. What are you doing here? Only Masters and Apprentices are allowed in here. Um... Shayla has me investigating the disappearance of young Selkath. I told you your father would get suspicious, Shasa. He always hated the Sith. My father doesn't understand. He is blinded by his own prejudice. The Sith are teaching us mastery of the Force. Our alliance with the Sith will bring strength to Manan and the Selkath people. Uh, um, okay, <laughs> some of those uh, answers. Wowzers. Um, the Sith are evil. What they told you was a lie. Republic propaganda. The Sith are the victims of lies and half-truths. They are not monsters, no more so than the Republic. The Sith have promised to guide us in the use of the Force as a sign of their good faith. And once the Republic is defeated, the Sith have promised to withdraw from Manan and respect our independence. The Sith just want to corrupt you. Spare us your lies. The Sith have treated us with nothing but respect and honor. You speak as if we are prisoners here, but we can leave whenever we wish. Our friend Gallus chose to leave, and he was returned safely to his home in Ato City. Shasa, what if they speak the truth? Remember what happened at Taras. Taras is nothing but a Republic lie. The Sith are such monsters, and prove it to us. Surely there must be some evidence of the horrors they commit. Okay. They will use you to conquer Manan for the Kulto. So you say, but why should we believe you? We need physical proof, not the words of some Republic sympathizer. Give me some time and I will find proof the Sith are evil. Shasa, I think we should give them a chance to prove themselves. 
We will not report your presence to our Sith Masters yet. If you bring us proof of Sith lies and torture, we will return to our families and report this to the Hato City authorities. Until then, we shall stay here and continue our training in the ways of the Force. While also holding blasters, I notice. But okay! That's something. Give me just a moment. I will be able to... Oh boy! Hi there! What? You're... Okay, um... This is definitely not what I wanted to do. Um... Well, that was unfortunate. Remains. Okay. All right. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted. Um. You have already opened. You are. I'm trying to find. Ah, uh, medical room. Oh. Tell, tell Shasa the Sith. Oh boy. This tortured Zelkath was holding some sort of token. Okay. Well, in the medical room there was some shit going down. Some really not good shit. Maybe this will be enough to convince them? Shasa, have you brought us evidence to back up your accusations? Have you found proof the Sith are evil as you claim? I found a young Selkath dying from torture here. He gave me this. Shasa, this is the pin I gave Gallus when we were children. There is blood on it. You could have found this anywhere. For all we know, you killed Gallus. The Sith tortured him to death, Shasa. You know it's true. Shasa, I believe them. How else would they have found this pin? I... I didn't want to believe it, but I can no longer deny what I know to be true. Gallus is dead, and the Sith are responsible. I must apologize for doubting you. The Sith are truly as evil as you have claimed. Wow, that was easy. We must report this to the Ato City authorities. Yes. We must report this at once. We thank you, human, for showing us the truth. You have saved us from a terrible mistake. Just be careful with those gifts you've already learned. Beware the dark side, or you may end up betraying your world regardless. Quickly, my friends. We can stay here no longer. We must flee this foul embassy and warn our people against the plot to corrupt the Manan youth. Well? That went... Better than expected, considering. Another neural band. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. There was also a path going this way. Should probably also heal, because boy have I gotten beat up. Yes. There we go. And topped yes. off. Yes. Beautiful. Also that. Thank you. How did you get in here? Wait. I recognize you. Yep. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. We've gone through this at least a million times. You intend to collect this reward, right? Master, give us the honor of aiding you in destroying this enemy of the Sith. See? What did I tell you? Yep. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. Uh-huh. Do you realize how many times I've heard that phrase? Alright, a little damage on you, then a force wave, then another force wave, just to make the point abundantly clear that I'm not to be fucked with. And then... Cut you down. Since you're a little too far gone, you die. You're a little too far gone. You get knocked over and you die. And then I take something from you. Luxum crystal. Double-bladed lightsaber and a dark Jedi Master robe. Okay. 
getting a lot of loot and whatnot here. A lot more than I expected. Foot locker. Open this up. Dark Jedi Night Robe. And then this door is. to a foot locker. Data pad. Oh, the data pad would have been also something I could use to convince Shasa. Ah. I see now. Probably would have been the more correct choice to do. But hey, it got there in the end, right? We got there in the end, and that's the important part. Alright. And then I gotta go the other way. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Go this way. And then we take this turn here. And then go up this way. <laughs> Should probably heal everyone. But everyone's not here. They're all stuck back there. Great. Alright, okay. There we go. Better. And now Jolie's going over here to be as annoying as possible. Thank you. And we're all healed up. Perfect. Thank you. There's this that I got done with a while back. There's this that I got done with a while back. Go through this door. And then we find this. Aha! And then we do a force wave. Booyah! And then I go after the droid. After I cut this one down. There we go. Cut down this assault droid. Hopefully quicker than this. <laughs> please. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Go a little faster. It would be nice. Oh, Jesus. All right. These droids, I tell ya. Pretty powerful in that they tank a lot of hits. Okay. I don't think there's any loot to be gained here. Unfortunately. Alright, North Computer Room. Which is where the steam would have been going. But I've cleared out the steam. Which means we can go straight on down to the end of the computer room. But first, I have a feeling it's gonna be a boss fight. No? Interesting. Computer panel. Slice. Okay. Um. I did that slice for no reason. Fuck. Steam control. Steam vents have been deactivated. Okay. Welp. <laughs> I finished it in the end. <laughs> All right. Missing Cellcath have been dealt with. I retrieved the encrypted data. And the murder trial has info that is not really helping Zunri. Oh, that's not the way I have to go. This is the way I have to go. To this, and then this. And ta-da! I can get out of here. And then I'm going to be put on trial myself. Because Selkath will not take this lying down. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, knew it. You there, human. You are placed under arrest under the Otto City Civil Authority. 
I've done nothing wrong. Though the Sith Embassy here is considered sovereign territory of the Sith Empire, we have been monitoring an alarming number of weapon discharges and detonations within the base. Inquiries to the staff of the Embassy yielded no response. It would seem that contact has been cut. Our cameras recorded you entering the base shortly before contact was lost, and fighting apparently began. It is the conclusion of the Atso City Civil Authority that you are responsible for the disturbance here, and you are hereby placed under arrest. You will come with us to await your trial. As material witnesses, the individuals who accompany you will be detained at your vessel, and the vessel itself prohibited from leaving Manan. We will leave. Now. Do not attempt to resist, or we shall resort to overwhelming force. Okay, then. I guess I have no choice. But then I'll have to pull the info out of my hat. Greetings, human. I'm called Boilas, and I've been selected as your arbiter for the duration of your trial. What have I been charged with? You have been charged with initiating violence within the Sith Embassy, murdering members of the Ambassadorial Commission of the Sith Empire, and disregarding our own laws regarding violence in Otto City. How will you get me free? I would first like to ask you a few questions regarding the events that led up to your arrest. I've already been given all relevant data on you and your companions, so that can be disregarded. For what reason did you enter the Sith Embassy? I had authorization to enter. Indeed. I find that unlikely, Offworlder, but perhaps the judges will be more sympathetic to your view. What is your prior association with the Sith? I'm on a mission to stop them from taking over the galaxy. The Sith are an expansionistic power, true, and at war with the Republic. You may make it your personal mission to foil them, but the authorities take a dim view of it taking place here. I think you will need a more thorough explanation in order to convince the judges. That should be all the information I require of you for now. If you wish, we can begin the trial whenever you are ready. I think I'd rather represent myself. I, I have proof that the Sith are evil. Indeed? And what is that? This data pad proved they are proving they are kill uh, kid blip blip blah. They are kidnapping young Selkath. This is most disturbing. We should take this evidence and present it before the court right away. And then it'll get me off the hook. <laughs> While your high standing among the off-worlders of Manan may bring you some leniency from them, being a successful swoop rider brings you no credit here, human. You stand accused of the grievous murder of many Sith, and extensive property damage to their embassy here. How do you plead? I don't plead, I tell. <laughs> you will not tolerate insolence. You will obey the rules of our court, or you will be summarily found guilty. Fine. All right. Not guilty. Let the record show that this trial has commenced. Presiding are judges Shelkar, Hyosa, Malshekan, Kota, and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability and punishment of this individual in the recent assault on the Sith Embassy. Given the severity of this trial, we can dispense with the normal formalities of the court and proceed directly. You have pleaded not guilty, yet there were reports of weapons fire and detonations from within the Sith Embassy. You were seen entering and leaving the Embassy. The Sith have not conferred with the authorities about this matter, but from all available evidence, it would seem that you are the source of the disturbance. What is your explanation for being in the Sith Embassy? I was investigating the disappearances of young Selkath. You believe that the Sith have had something to do with those disappearances. The off-worlder has probably been listening to Shalas and his rumor-mongering. Most likely. Do you have any proof to back up your assumption, human? Have the Sith been implicated? I have this data pad as proof that the Sith are up to no good. Let it be noted that the court has taken this new evidence into consider consideration. This is most disturbing. The court will adjourn for a brief period to verify the evidence and discuss its importance. Hmm. Okay. If only I could talk. We have verified that this is indeed a Sith data pad, indicating their complicity in a plot to overthrow the lawful government of Manan. In gratitude for having discovered this heinous offense, all charges against you regarding this incident will be dropped. Pending a suitable penalty against the Sith, their embassy is considered off-limits to all Otto City security personnel. 
No calls or incidents from their base will be attended to until this matter is dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protections of Selkath law. You have been found innocent and may leave as you desire. This trial is now over. Hell yeah. Hells yeah, we beat the charges. Suck it, bitch. Fuck you, Sith. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Okay. All right. Well, I'm done here. I still need to talk to Sunri about other things. And also talk to that one Selkath guy. That is a thing I need to do as well. But I talked to Alora. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunra's trial. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is gonna be something that we shouldn't talk about here in open air. But uh, was Sunri having an affair? Uh, of course not. He, he, yes, yes, he was having an affair. He was seeing that, that Sith woman. After all mm. these years we've been together, he just, just dropped me like that. Not publicly, I don't know. But inside, that's what it feels like. I yeah. started seeing Alasa last year. I, I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that Harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Loved. He's too kind and gentle to have killed her in cold blood. Don't worry, Alora. I'll save him. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was an affair. But an affair he owned up to. Okay, Sunri. Jolie. Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the warden and begin my trial. Yeah, about that, Soon, bud. Old friend. Don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Yeah, and unfortunately, oh, the picture I have is not pretty. Oh, bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. You know, the role of arbiter cannot be taken lightly. Yeah, very true. And unfortunately, everything I'm seeing makes me wish I wasn't that guy. Hmm. There are a few things we have to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Uh-huh. I know you're guilty. I've got the Republic data recording. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. But the Sith found out the truth, didn't they? The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. Mm -hmm. So they planted their own evidence. Elasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith masters like some kind of trophy. I just mm -hmm. thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. Mm -hmm. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? I don't know. You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? It's near the hundreds now. And you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malik's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die.
killing your lover while she sleeps is murder, even if she is a Sith. If I confess, I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Otto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat the injuries to our soldiers on the front lines? We, we both know you have to own up. These are just excuses, Sunri. No, I can't do that. And put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't. Now look, I may have done something stupid. And it may only be worse for my standing by it, but I will not confess. If you turn me in, the Republic will likely lose its Colto export privileges, and then we'll lose the war for sure. Are you going to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your sense of justice? Sunri, this is wrong, and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what I did, but I also know what's at stake here. No, I'll rot in here if I have to, but I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to, but know what the consequences will be. Okay. Elora professes Sunri's innocence. She claims that this is some sort of frame-up. Under pressure, Alora confessed that Sunri had been having an affair with the Sith woman Alasa, but that he had been going there to end it. Confronted with the evidence of the recording of him killing Alasa, he admitted the crime. He refuses to confess to the court, however. He says he will not betray the Republic or harm it because of what happened. Well, that makes everything more complicated. So, I honestly don't know how this case will go if I present it like this. A whole convoluted murder plot, spy shenanigans, cloak and dagger bullshit. And how will that end up after I say it? I don't know. I have no idea. I hear you've been appointed. I have this recording showing Sunri killing Elasa. Lies! It, it must be! I knew the Sith would never let a Republic hero get away. You must find Sunri innocent. Your husband might not be so innocent. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find mm -hmm. the real evidence. Yep, she didn't give anything else new. Even if these recordings are pretty damning. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure he'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Okay. You Talk mind? to you. I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Yep, why are you hiring? In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. We well, I knew that. Mercs, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Okay. Well, that doesn't tell me enough. But now I can talk to Shasa. Or Shaylas, rather. Wait a minute. Where's he at? It's Nilko Boas. Have you news for me, human? Have you discovered why the Republic is hiring mercenaries? I'm still looking into it. Okay. Fair enough. It was Shaylas. Where did he go? There he is. There we go. Human, you returned. Have you info for me? Have you discovered the fate of my, the mis missing Selkath youth? Have you news of my daughter? I have information for you. Excellent. You have done well. What have you learned? The Sith are training the Selkath youth in the ways of the Dark Jedi. Yes. This makes sense. 
It is a wonder I did not see this before. Manan's greatest strength is our neutrality. If, Mal if Malak brainwashes our youth and indoctrinates them in the ways of the Sith, he will have a f strong following among the Selkath people, strong enough to seize control of Manan and Dark Volta. My daughter, Shasa. Shasa, she too has been indoctrined into the Sith camp. Well, I convinced your daughter to turn back on it. Human, if you speak the truth, I am forever in your debt. And yet, my joy is tempered by the knowledge that the Sith still walk freely about Manan. Hopefully, the testimony of my daughter will be enough proof of their actions to make the Ato City authorities take action. I hope so. You have done much for me, human. Here are the credits I promised you. I only wish I had more to give. Uh, give me my money and get out of here. Jesus. Thank you, Shalas. This is how we Jedi should always act. With honor. Thank you. Please excuse me now, human. I must go speak to the Manan authorities about the Sith plot and what they have done to my beloved daughter. It is done! Hurrah! Alright, so that's taken care of... Ganto, yes. Who are you? I hope you're here to play some... Oh yeah, you're the Pazak guy. So clear out. I'm working on it. Bish. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll look into how to handle this whole thing with the courts, especially considering all the evidence that I have in front of me, and see where to go from there, because right now it's convoluted and I have no idea how it's going to go, so, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to figure out how best to navigate this minefield that is sitting in front of me. Because holy shit, there is so much that I need to figure out about this mission. Uh, don't know if selling Sunri out, but also posing it as a spy issue gone wrong uh, will help anyone because uh, not entirely sure. Maybe. Maybe it'll work out, but I'll have to make sure for you.